εκείνους που δεν είναι μόνοι Είναι φρικτό να μένεις μόνο στη ζωή Our Nicosia in Cyprus city. Don't spill the eggs tonight. We came from one of his cartoons. My name is Lee. And my name is Jessup. And we are really happy to be here and we can't wait for the screening tonight to see Don't Spill the Eggs at the International Film Festival. It was one of the official selections. So we're really glad that you could join us tonight. And we have lots of eggs, so we had a- Hello, uh, this is Miku Zemano. Uh, we just uh, saw his uh, short film in uh, the film Video Poetry in the Six Cyprus International Film Festival, Don't Spill the Eggs. <laughs> Here is Lee Neville. Don't uh, Spill the Eggs. A, don't Spill the Eggs. And Jas, Jasa. Yes. Don't Spill the Eggs again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carispera. Carispera. <laughs> nice. Orea. So we laughed a lot uh, with the film. And we see various techniques, uh, animation combined with acting and, uh, and poetry. So I would like to ask you if, uh, what is your uh, film, uh, film experience? My film uh, experience? Yes. Well, I've been drawing cartoons since I was very young. And well, 10 years ago, I started doing animation on a computer. And I sent things out to film festivals and got in festivals in Toronto and Woodstock. And then I started doing video. And it took a long time. They're very different in a way, but it took a long time to finally bring the two together, you know, to add animation to video and make them work, work out. And your uh, other love is uh, writing poems. I've been writing poems since I was in Boston, since 1984, and that's another whole world. We, used to, we do a poetry coffee house with music every Thursday night in Cambridge near Harvard Square. So we've been doing that for years, so the poetry and ca cartoons and movies have all sort of blended and evolved together, I guess. How many uh, poems uh, have you turned into films? Uh, about six or seven I have, actually. That's what's been so exciting, is to watch Mick evolve his art from the cartoons, as he said, to the animating them into films and then adding humans with the animation. So it's been very exciting to watch that, that, that means that uh, you have participated in uh, his uh, films yes. as well? All, all of them? Not all of them, but I have had parts in several. And it, it is really exciting to, to be part of the shoot. And uh, he gives the actors basic directions and then allows a lot of interpretation and spontaneity. And then he puts the magic together. Uh, when he edits. And uh, Lee, does Mick uh, shoot uh, directly or uh, he did any rehearsals with you before well, the shooting? He, uh, normally you see um, a cartoonist go from um, a cartoon, no, see, from a human that goes into a cartoon. And now with Mick, you see the opposite. You see the cartoon is always already there and now the cartoon is starting to become human, starting to become human actors, putting them together, the animation cartoon with the human actors is a new, uh, a new road. I think it's a new road for cinema. Um, and um, mm -hmm. the idea is, is that we're surrealists and we don't um, <clears throat> have to abide by the tyranny of meaning. We don't have to have a storyline. The storyline will, will, will emerge as this process goes along. That's what's interesting. All right. And uh, Mick, uh, what is your next film? What will it be about? Uh, it's called Monkey Do, Monkey Don't. It's about a guy who's a young scientist 
and he wants to be a fast track star and he finds out that the laboratory has monkey protein that makes it people faster, stronger, it makes monkeys faster and stronger than humans and he steals it and drinks it trying to become faster but he turns into a gorilla and all of a sudden he's on the run, he's a fugitive in the city of Cambridge being chased around by people trying to catch the gorilla. I think you have already made uh, some designs eh, about uh, the, the characters or yes. not. Yeah, we shot some scenes actually yes. last the summer. Cartoons in the very yeah. magazines. In the magazines, yeah. yeah. Right. So maybe... This film. Uh, yeah. Okay, you will, we will see it right now. Show you. <laughs> yeah. And Mick, what is your real profession now? <laughs> <laughs> I work at Harvard University. I have a sort of management job in a museum, actually. Well done. And, and filming and poetry is uh, your hobbies. And yeah. yes. And that's my This idea. is Mix Film, the Underground Surrealist magazine. Mm -hmm. This special mm -hmm. issue is Don't Spill the Eggs. And it includes his, he, he won a certificate of achievement last year Bravo. at the well done. Fest, film festival when it was in Boston. And there he is accepting his award. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That was for a movie called uh, Dreams of Leonardo da Vinci, which I showed at Cannes, I showed in Boston. It's, it's an animation about Leonardo da Vinci's inventions coming alive. Okay, it, is, uh, it was our honor also in here in Cyprus uh, Film Festival that you participated in our uh, new film uh, category called uh, Film, Video and Poetry. And uh, we wish you all the best and uh, success to your future plans and trips and hope to see you soon. A uh, few minutes, I can't remember. A few minutes. Yeah. Okay, great. What about all the, uh, all the elements from all the different countries you showed during the film? Uh, I've been to Paris a few times. I've uh, done some video over there and uh, a lot of stuff in America, different places. Does anyone else want to add something? Well, we're cartoon characters. <laughs> You're cartoon characters. <laughs> Whatever you have hear it from, we should be taken with a grain of salt. But we have, we are friends of Mick, and we are actually are part of a, a, <clears throat> a coffee house group that has been around for a couple of decades, and we uh, were part of the transition from, we all do surrealist poems, we're performance poets, and uh, in, I think that um, when I saw him going visual, I thought the other thing that's interesting for me is to see his um, animation come together with the actual mm -hmm. people actors. I think there'll be a lot more of those in his films. And um, also, well, so many films are just filled with meaning. Yeah. This is this is this is not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. Did you yeah. feel hopefully you relaxed a few for these Yeah, definitely. Of, and uh, there's a surrealism always cuts out cuts out the storyline. Yes. And what are your plans for the future? Uh, I'm working on a movie called Monkey Do, Monkey Don't about a guy in Boston who accidentally turns into a gorilla. Turkish part of Cyprus and trying to win all our money back. Ah, 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 ah,